Ash Wednesday is the beginning of Lent, and Lent is preparation for Easter. On Ash Wednesday, Christians gather for a big giant, we're all in this together, corporate act of penance, when they say sorry to God, and promise not to do bad things, and only do good things. Hip, hip, they receive ashes on their forehead, made from the burnt remains of palm crosses from the previous year. You are dust, and to dust you shall return says the priest as he presses the ashes onto your head. Not a very nice thing to do, to be told and to tell others that you are dust and to dust you shall return. Christians believe that we're made to live with God forever, don't they? So what's all this about death and mortality? Well, the hard fact is, of course, that all of us will someday be dead. We can't really escape that. We are, in that sense, mortal beings. Another one bites the dust. But there's more to it than that. Sometimes we live as though we are gods. Become a god. We sometimes live without a care for others, or even without a care for God himself. I'm immortal. We can so easily forget about our life with God, so we think we can live without God, or that God is there just at our convenience. Why do you mock me, O oh Lord? Ash Wednesday reminds us that we are human after all, and that without God we are nothing. The ashes, then, are a sign of sorrow for our sins. It may seem a rather bizarre thing to do, to have ashes placed on our head. Most people would prefer to apply something that makes them look more beautiful or a bit younger. Because you're worth it. But the ashes remind us of the ugliness of sin and is also a commitment to the gospel of Christ. An alternative form of words for giving ashes is turn away from sin and be faithful to the gospel. Ash Wednesday is a day to start again in the right direction. Lent has been called the springtime of the church. It's a positive time, a time, yes, when we turn our back on all the things that distance us from God and embrace a new way, the new way of God, as we journey closer to the cross and beyond to the glory of the resurrection. <laughs>